Good morning, Jim Distortion uh, from Distortion's Got Issues, doing a daily short from the studio. Um, and uh, on YouTube, yes, yeah, YouTube. Okay, so I want to talk to you today about discrimination. But not the way you might think. Let's cover it all, yeah? We've only got like 10 minutes, so let's talk about it. Okay, the government have always, yeah, looked at equality and discrimination you know as you know the key points in their legislation since the 1970s uh 1970 the discrimination act came in which means that you know there were tentative guides about what you could and couldn't do discriminatory wise um the equality pay act came in in 1975 basically because when immigration was in full flow and you know you had different colors different races different human beings um they were all being paid different scales due to the color of their skin which obviously isn't right um and so in 1970 the government said this can't go on we'll do this now the pay act yeah the equal pay act came in in 1975 um, and then improved again in 1983 because they realized that actually no one gave a crap that they put down an act and they had to update it um, in 2010, the Equality Act was brought in, which meant that, you know, you couldn't be discriminated against for your colour, race, creed, uh, you know, your gender, uh, gender reassignment now as well. So, uh, disabilities, religions, or beliefs. Okay, so you've got, you've got legislation in place that says that it's illegal to discriminate both negatively and positively. Now we'll get to negatively first. Obviously, if you are the wrong colour to do a job, yeah, then that's discrimination because you can't be the wrong colour to do a job because colour has no bearing on what you can and can't do in different situations. Uh, if you're male or female, there are some jobs, arguably, uh, that females can't do. Um, but then again, I know plenty of females that can lift stone pads above their head um you know they can cut down trees and they can do anything that men can do really um if it's a strength issue um if it's about brain power to be fair 90 percent of women tend to think that they're brainier than us and and that'll do you know that's the thing that's the way it should be um i'm being quite flippant because all of this is bollocks um human beings yeah, all human beings can do all things, but some will be better than others. Uh, a friend of mine, Leon, said that to me, and I imagine he got that from a quote somewhere. I just think that if you put uh, colour, creed, race, gender, ethnicity, whatever you want to say, against the job, it has no bearing unless that person physically can't do the job, mentally can't do the job, or just, you know, can't fathom out the intricacies of it. So instead of looking at colour and race, yeah, look at ability. Because jobs are about ability. I am an employer. I, well, I'm not now so much, um, but I used to employ many people. And, you know, we employed the best person for the job. And that's really what I think all of this should be about. There should be no pay gap for men and women. I'm sorry, they shouldn't. If they're doing a job, they should be paid the same. It's the job that you pay for, it's not the person. So therefore, the BBC paying their male stars more than their women stars, yeah, that's rubbish. You know, what? what is that about? You know, to be fair, if you're a woman on the television and you're, in a st you know, um, and you're a star, as it were, then you're the same as the man who's the star. You don't pull in more people, do you? I mean, do men have a bigger, you know, audience share than women? I can't see that happening. Do black males have more audience share than black, than, you know, black women? You know, uh, I'll tell you this. When you're in a situation where you can make a judgment call, about someone's ability what are you going to think about what's the first thing that's going to pop into your head right for me it's going to do the job it's not are they wearing yellow jeans what, what what the hell are they doing wearing yellow jeans are they wearing a turquoise jumper oh that's the same color as your skins mate yeah so that is negative discrimination we all know about that because we all hear about it every day and also equality for men and women you know is an important point 
right? But men, women now, because they're shouting about it, aren't more equal than men, and men aren't more equal than women. Yeah, this is starting to wind me up. Now, all of the the women that are standing forward and being strong about that, so they bloody should. Yeah, all the men that are going, oh, fucking women can't do this, can't do that, oh, it's all wrong. You're wrong. Yeah, sorry, but you're wrong. Okay, it's not down to male or female. It's down to ability. I'll tell you who else are wrong. Rabid feminists who are shouting about men being obsolete creatures who don't understand. They're wrong as well. Yeah, and then you've got, you know, full on misogynists who can't cope with women being anywhere near them and think they're wrong. Okay, anyone who goes too far, yeah, in any direction, you're wrong. It's that simple. Okay, when you're looking for equality, so equal pay, equal chances, what you're actually saying is you're looking for equal opportunities for everyone. Why should the fact that someone came over from Jamaica in a boat in 1970 yeah, affect what their children get paid now. You see how ridiculous that is? Right. Positive discrimination, however, is just as bad. And people say that it's protected by the Equality Act 2010. It's not, because it's happening. Right? The British police force actually have percentages of black males, black females, Hispanic, all of that, you know, race, Indians, and they have to meet quotas. And they'll deny this, but it's true because media reports on it, yeah. Also, it's pretty obvious that if you have a black community, yeah, it makes it more, you know, more accessible if some of the peelers, sorry, the coppers, sorry, the policemen, um, are of the same ethnicity as the area. What that doesn't mean, however, is you should have all of them the same because then law is not balanced. Um... And I said, what do I mean by that? I'll quantify that. Right, you have uh, a white Christian male uh, and an Indian Muslim, yeah, and a black atheist. And they all come from different groups, but they go into an area where one of those people relates directly to the people that they're supposed to arrest. Uh, and the other two people with them stops leniency uh, through familiarity. Law is law. Yeah. If my best friend does a crime and stands next to me and says he was my alibi, what am I supposed to do? Yeah. I'll give him an alibi. I'll tell you that right now. But a copper, when you put on that little blue suit, all of your everything drops off. Yeah. All of your religions, your beliefs, your everything. Yeah. You should be a balanced, neutral human being. Brutal facts of the matter is humans can't do that. You have beliefs, they're strong. Yeah, you have, you know, traits, races. You're going to be more lenient on the race of your own. Unless, of course, your own have shunned you in the past. Okay, so if the British police force are having to keep to quotas of race... That's positive discrimination because people aren't getting a job because that's what they're supposed to get because they're good at it. They're getting it because they are black, brown, green, purple, red. That's bollocks. The same as, yeah, normal discrimination is bollocks, right? So positive discrimination. People are getting jobs because they're women. People are getting jobs because they're men. People are getting jobs because they're transgender and they need to be seen as opening, you know, the door to everything. It's all bollocks. Right person for the job is not bollocks. The right person at the right time doing the job. So what I'm saying to you is, is all discrimination is a problem. Yeah, if you spin discrimination positively, it's still discrimination. And it's supposed to still be illegal, but a fundamental parts of our society support it. Which goes to show that government acts don't mean shit. Because who listens to... Did you even know that there were government acts? Yeah? So did you know uh, that in 1970 that the, the, Discrimin Act, the Discrimination Act came in? I didn't until I looked it up on Google. Which is why there's a big white glare on my face. Um, I don't think there's anything that will ever be done to stop this until people start arguing about what's on the outside of them. When people understand that maybe their consciousness is what should be looked at rather than their colour 
or their gender. Also, I want to stress this again. No far-reaching ideals that bang heads with anyone else are right. You can be passionate about what you believe in and why the hell not. I'm passionate about what I believe in. Not sure what I do believe in, mind you, but hey. What I'm saying to you is, and I've said this before in a different thing, if you take emotion out of a situation, yeah, and not blindly follow people, you know, yes, you blindly follow your religion. Yes, you blindly follow the people that you follow, but don't think about it. Do you know what I'm saying every video? Because it is the only thing that links all of these ideas because they're common sense is question everything. When you're told that the reason that these race riots went out was because that the people were black fighting against whites, you need to have a look at that in this day and age, right? There is, yeah, racism from black to white. There is racism from white to black, obviously. You can't ignore the fact that it's a double standard. So, you know, you have, you know, you have... You have what? You have a different race, okay? Because I don't know the racial terms that you're allowed to use anymore, right? I don't know. I don't know. So if you've got a Jamaican, right? He's a Jamaican, yeah? But so let's, let's use that. So you've got a Jamaican guy who was fighting a guy from a white guy from Streatham in London. Immediately, yeah, immediately the liberals will jump on that going, hold on, that's racism. Well, yeah, yeah, it is. Because a white guy is fighting a black guy, a black guy is fighting a white guy. But who started it? What was it over? And I guarantee it's probably not about race. It's probably about the bloke stole something. You know, either bloke stole something from either bloke, or it's about a bird, or they've just had too much to drink and they're fighting in a pub. Yeah? So you can't make everything about struggle, about race, about creed, about gender. I don't give a shit what colour you are, yeah? Or what gender you associate with. Yeah, it means nothing to me, to be honest. I'm not going to make a judgment call on you because of that. What I am going to make a judgment call on is how you act, how you behave, and whether you're the right person to be in my presence at that time. Equality. I'm starting to hate the word because it's not equality. Yeah, it's enforced beliefs from a book of rules that don't mean anything. They're all outdated. Yeah, and then all the liberals with their, oh, you must love everyone. Yeah, you must love everyone, but you're not going to. You're human. Yeah, you're going to have that. But as long as you don't hate a person because they're their colour or their sex or their whatever, you hate them because you actually hate them as a human being because something about them makes you hate them or you've had a row or you've had an interaction. At least that's an honest reaction. And don't be afraid of honest reactions. Yeah, yeah, you'll be tarred with the racism brush if it's somebody of a different creed you, than you. Yeah, a different ethnicity. But don't be afraid of that. <laughs> Someone call you a name, but it doesn't make it true. The only trouble is now is that courts are acting on this as well, you know, that you do something. So, you know, you have I, as a as a British white male, have an argument with the same Jamaican guy and it goes to court and I'm the one that started it, yeah, that will then be perceived as racism. It's not. It's two people having a row because, as anyone knows me, I'm not a racist human being. This could go on for a while, couldn't it? So I'm going to stop now. Right, listen, I'm going to stop completely for Christmas. Um, there will be one more video tomorrow. And then I'm going to stop for Christmas because my family uh, are starting to wonder why my podcast is taking over my life. So I'm going to let them have Christmas. And I too am going to have Christmas. And I'm going to forget that I'm on Slimming World Diet and I'm going to eat the world. So you have a great Christmas. You have a great new year. And I will see you back. Uh, Subscribe down here, yeah. Subscribe there, and uh, there's another video up there. I'll talk to you soon, yeah.